Last week, Sports Illustrated announced a partnership with Kobe Bryant on a multi-platform video project for his Dear Basketball poem that he used to announce his retirement. The first part of the project is going to be an animated short of the poem, and it's due to be released in October. October. That's five months away. It does not take five months to make an animation of a poem that's already been written. I promise, we did it in like two days. Dear Basketball, from the moment I started rolling my dad's tube socks and shooting imaginary game-winning shots in the Great Western Forum, I knew one thing was real. I fell in love with you, but I can't love you obsessively for much longer. This season is all I have left to give. I'll always be that kid with the rolled up socks, garbage can in the corner, five seconds on the clock, ball in my hands. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> The project is also going to have an accompanying documentary about the making of the animated short, which seems excessive. I mean, I really don't see why you would ever need that. What I was trying to get across in my drawings is that Kobe Bryant is a basketball player and that he played with the Lakers for a number of years. Am I classically trained? No. Talented? Maybe. Efficient? Probably. Look at it this way. Kobe Bryant plays basketball. That's his job. I do art. I do art. <laughs> okay, but, but what if people watch that documentary about the cartoon and are like, what was the motivation behind making that documentary about making a cartoon? I need to know. <laughs> I was trying to capture the fact that we we were making an animation about a basketball player. When I'm rolling and, and Garrett's drawing, it's, it's like a pass from Kobe Bryant to other player on the Lakers. <laughs> uh, all right, Kobe and Sports Illustrated, you can just stop now because we just did that whole thing for you.